Thanks for turning back into Pocket Ronnie. Now we are going to do uh, Pythagorean Theorem with radicals. Remember, Pythagorean Theorem is only used for right triangles. Okay, and here's a right triangle. Pythagorean Theorem is leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. The hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right triangle and it is always across from the 90 degree angle. Okay. So let's go to problem 18E. This will be problems 2 through 4. And one leg is 2 times the square root of 3. One leg is 6. And we don't know the hypotenuse. So therefore, we use Pythagorean Theorem. Okay, we know that one leg is 6 squared. It doesn't matter which leg you write first. The other leg is 2 square root of 3, and I recommend using parentheses around that. 2 times the square root of 3 squared equals hypotenuse squared. 6 squared is 36. I'm going to rewrite this. 2 square root of 3 squared means 2 times the square root of 3 times 2 times the square root of 3. Okay. Going to your rules of radicals and multiplying radicals and numbers, numbers to numbers, radicals to radicals. With that, 2 times 2 is 4. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. Remember to always simplify your radicals. Okay? So 4 times square root of 9, carry, keep carrying your 4 down. Square root of 9 is 3. So that means 4 times square root of 9, which means 4 times 3. Now you have 36 plus 12 equals h squared. 36 and 12 is 48. We're not done there. We're trying to solve for h, not h squared. Therefore, we need to take the square root of both sides. So h equals square root of 48. Not done. You always have to simplify your radicals. Okay. So in simplifying your radicals, you're trying to determine what are the factors of 48. And you want one of the factors to be a perfect square. Well, I do know I could use 4 times 12. 4 is a perfect square. There is actually a factor that is larger than that that you can use. Okay? You can actually use the factors of 16 times 3. Okay? What you can do is just take 48 and keep dividing your perfect squares into 48 until you can find the largest perfect square um, that will divide into this. Okay, so using 16 and 3, you have square root of 16 times square root of 3. Square root of 16 does equal 4. Then you have square root of 3. Square root of 3 does not simplify any more than that. So the length of your hypotenuse is 4 times square root of 3. Remember to simplify your radicals down all the way that you can. Uh, again, there's no units on this because the original triangle did not have units, so I do not put units. I do not know if that's inches, yards, feet, centimeters, or meters. So you can put the word unit, 4 square root of 3 units if you want. Going on to 18B number 9. I need to erase part of this so I have more room. So on 18B number 9, we are given one leg is 5 square root of 2. We don't know the other leg, but we do know the hypotenuse is 10 times square root of 3. It's a right triangle, so we know we can use Pythagorean Theorem. Put in 5 square root of 2 for our leg. Again, I recommend using parentheses. I don't know the other leg, and I do know the hypotenuse is 10 times the square root of 3 squared. Remember, 5 square root of 2 squared means 5 square root of 2 times 5 square root of 2. I recommend writing this out until, you, unless, until you've done it enough times that you're just used to squaring it. Plus like squared equals 10 square root of 3 times 10 square root of 3. Multiplying radicals, numbers to numbers, radicals to radicals, 5 times 5 is 25. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4. I don't know that leg. 10 times 10 is 100. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. Remember, now you need to simplify your radicals. Okay, this means 25 times square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2, so we have 25 times 2. 100 times square root of 9 is 100 times 
3. So now we have 50 plus like squared equals 300. I'm not done here. I'm trying to solve for like squared, so I need to get my numbers on one side, variables on the other, using algebra. So like squared equals 250. I'm not done. I've got to take the square root of both sides in order to solve for L. L equals square root of 250. I do need to simplify my radicals. I'm trying to find the largest factor that's a perfect square. I'm going to use the factors of 25 times 10. 25 times 10 is 250. 25 is a perfect square. Remember, a perfect square is when you take the square root of it, it comes out to a whole number. So I can break this up to the square root of 25 times square root of 10. The square root of 25 is 5, and you leave your square root of 10. Square root of 10 does not simplify any more than that. And that is your final answer. And you can either write the word units or just leave it blank because the triangle does not give units in the original problem.